Hi, I'm back in the office again, so looking for something to do, so I thought I'd put together a few tutorials with some objects that I've seen um, created in other 3D products. So this one is going to be a link and to make it look a little bit like something that a blacksmith would create um, out of metal so it's going to be 25 mils by 5 mils and the two holes are going to be 50 mil centers so let's get started and have a go at this one okay new design uh, plan view so first we'll start by drawing a couple of circles uh, 12 mils for the center hole enter and then 25 mils for the actual outer radius so that's hit the space bar 25 so if we grab a rectangle and we'll make this another two and a half mils larger than the circle that's half the thickness of the metal so we start here so it's going to be 25 by 15. So hit the space bar, 15, tab, 25. Right, so that's that's the start. So if we pull that into a first part of a shape, so control click, and we'll pull that to five mils thick space bar 5 enter righto so that's one end of our link right we can now get rid of that surface in there delete that <coughs> draw mark here around it and we're going to move it but I want to move using the centers so if we grab this one here and move it into the center of that circle there and let's see if we can move it into the center of that circle there so that's center all around <coughs> so you want to move that center 20 50 mils so if we hold our control key down grab the red one control key duplicates so now we can release the coal hit the space bar and type in 50 now we've got two objects with 50 mil centers so if we look here we can grab the rotate so we can rotate it back around that center 180 degrees and we can grab the red rotate and rotate that one 90 degrees right so there's the ends of our link all we need to do is create a blend between these two surfaces which can be a little bit of an issue if you click on and then create the blend it'll be usually a blend that's not what you want so what we need to do is select tool select this surface and control click on that surface there so if we go control C we can copy those two services and hide what's left control V we'll paste those two surfaces back again <coughs> as you can see that's two surfaces so if we select one select our move tool they should be 20 mils apart so if I move hold the control key down and duplicate that 10 mils it puts it in the middle so now if I rotate that 45 degrees we'll end up with a graduation of the twist <coughs> So if we grab our 
blend tool get it so we can actually see what we're doing so what we're going to do is create a blend using the short edge from there control click onto that one control click onto that one so there's our blended edge so if we tick that one to let it know and then we're going to do one on the other side here so from there control click control click again there's our blended ends now if we go on the sides click click the end control click in the middle control click at the bottom and we end up with a blend over that area there we rotate it around do the same on this side top control click for the middle control click on the bottom and then OK that. <coughs> so now we have our twisted centerpiece. We can now get rid of the surface in the middle. Just delete that one. And if we bring our two end pieces back into vision, you can see that we've got a twist in the middle, but it doesn't look very, very realistic. It's too sharp where the two solids join so our solution for that is if we grab a, a rectangle and take it from this surface here <coughs> we define the rectangle from the center so what I'm going to do is take a piece out of here using a rectangle as a cutter and it's going to be 10 mils which is twice the 5 mil width of the piece of solid that we're building so hit the, hit the space bar tab around put 10 in here enter so that's 10 mils 5 mils either side of that section there so if we get our our pull tool and we cut it if we select that control select that and we'll pull it right through and cut a piece out if we do the same for the other end grab our rectangle tool click on this surface here click define rectangle from center click in on the center point there uh, the width of it doesn't really matter we'll make it 20 mils space bar tab down to 10 mils here for our width enter on that grab our pull tool and click control click and make sure we select cut and then we can take that piece out of there now all that's really left now is if we grab our blend tool <coughs> if we click in here control click on the other surface and we've created a blend between the two Just tick that off and the same on this side control click on this surface here our blend and create that so as you can see that's created a more realistic bend as if a blacksmith had have bent it in his vice with a tool so all we need to do is just to make it look a little bit more pretty so if we grab our pull tool we can triple click on that which will select the whole um, outline hit our spacebar go 0.5 
enter put a fillet around the edge of it same on the other side space bar 0.5 enter there <coughs> now if we put a couple of chamfers on these here select our chamfer space bar 0.5 this one here space bar 0.5 flip it over so we can get to this other side space bar 0.5 space bar 0.5 so there we go there's our link as if it had been made by a blacksmith hope this is gives you some insight into using the blend tool and how you can actually sort out corners that aren't exactly as how you'd like them to appear <laughs>